welcome you to the historic Simon Scott Assembly Hall for game two of first round action in Bloomington. We've got the Oklahoma Sooners taking on the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles to spread the floor and shoot the three. In his 17th season as head coach at Florida Gulf Coast has been very good at the rim, and right away we get that three one in the Big 12 that average over 10 points a game and start four teams this season. Up top, Valley Care earns, he knocks down the triple. Yeah, as the first field goal goes down three minutes into the ball game for the Sooners. Skylar Van able to put her team in that category and a quick response by Julie Tata can really mix it up. Underneath. Notice to my left behind me, the fans for Florida Gulf Coast have been quieted for a moment by that three by Van, but they have donned another short shot clock. Sophia Person off the deck gets it to go. Wow, that's a tough two right there. That's their fifth basket. Three ball. Yeah, Randy Scott, nice job. Great deliberate in the quarter court situation. Jefferson turning down the three, trying to get it off the rim. How did that go down? Got to the rim, four rebounds, provided energy and spark, and somehow, you mentioned Oklahoma, off of their non-conference schedule. See a great play by Florida Gulf Coast, great hustle play. Three on one opportunity, and they get points out of it. Riley Bartram. Off the bounce, Lexi Key sends it to Todd once again in the corner. Nice dish underneath. Textbook offense from Oklahoma. Really get things done on both ends of the floor. And it was across the board, but Sarah Scalia was unbelievable to finish the game with 27 points. Knocked down. Seeing more of that life for the Sooners. We talked about the unconventional start, backdoor cut. Todd! But what an incredible block at the rim. Comes over and helps side on this backdoor cut. Keys just didn't recognize she maybe needed to make that extra pass to her. Does a really good job of tracking the ball off the rim. <laughs> Up and under, no good by Person. Look at the battle inside with Williams. Demanding the ball, screaming for the ball. Couldn't get it. And outstretched hands, a great defense for the Eagles underneath. They'll get it back. She is experienced by her fifth year. She's a super senior. Take his team to their 10th NCAA tournament appearance. Miss at the rim and the cleanup. That'll be good. That was not the case in the first quarter. Williams has been the answer to this Oklahoma team as a transfer from OSU. Van demanding on the inside. Got the bucket to go. Yeah, look how low Van was. She established position way down low. Bartram as well for Florida Gulf Coast. Ooh, wide open lane. And that's what happens. You start getting spread out because you're worried about the shooting. Deep three from outside. No good for Verholst. But they find some second chance opportunities. To, to play some better defense. Off the deck, Kennedy. Couldn't connect and got three. Able to run that one in. Approaching the one minute mark here in the first half. Van from outside. And you're gonna see T Skyler Van here with this three pointer. Knocking one down, that confidence she had. Florida Gulf Coast with those 25 points in the first quarter, only 10 in the second quarter. Van trying to connect with Sahara Williams, yeah. and that's an easy target to try and get going. Memphis had a very quick pace and style as well. The school she was at prior to Florida Gulf Coast as Van had a nice look at the rim. No, I am not surprised. And if you're <laughs> Oklahoma, you have to grab the basketball. Those possessions, missed opportunities. Block at the rim. Verholst. Finally, a three goes down for 
Florida Gulf Coast in this half. Bray Riley Bartram couldn't finish here. And could this be the first lead for Oklahoma? A little more flow from Oklahoma these last couple of times down. They have switched their defense, and it is affecting their offense. I say you should have just led with Skylar Van. Oklahoma is known for, they have picked up the pace. The Van Tot to Van. Florida Gold Coast looking for some offense, have gone over in their last seven possessions. Nice look at the rim, and finally the drought. They would like to get hot again at the offensive end. Reminder that Florida Gold Coast, when they had the lead at half, in which they did have the lead by two, are perfect, the Sooners, and that was Definitely slowing things down for Florida Gulf Coast on the interior. Back to back threes, of course. Man with 20 points, three rebounds. Well above her season average. Another triple. You've got to be kidding me. Fingernails maybe right there, but no official thoughts, so play on. Monty Jefferson at the rim. Good luck. Person has done an incredible job trying to contain Todd, who has been the floor general for Oklahoma. The dive to the basket by Van. They have not had an answer. Let's see if Oklahoma can execute here with 10 on the shot clock. Poke from behind. Second chance opportunity. Every time down the floor, Skylar Van is sprinting to the block. Oh, yeah, she runs to the rim really well. Good look for Verholst. Verholst! Somewhat of a wizard on that finish. The run here, and Verholst was quiet. She's woken up. If you're Oklahoma right now, you just don't want to let Florida Gulf Coast get hot with three-point shooting. Like that? Yep, yep. And an entertaining one between Oklahoma and Florida Gulf Coast. Eight, eight seconds on the shot clock. Great. Todd at the rim, blocked by Imani Jefferson. Maybe she was just talking to her teammates. Terrific block. Good timing right there. So Peyton Verholz will take the ball out. They have four seconds to work with. Let it fly. Is able to knock it down. The only time the Eagles have been in a close game was against North Carolina earlier in the season as Oklahoma able to respond. Certainly knocked down that three with some space. How about the confidence, though? <laughs> Imani Jefferson. She is just non-stop. Her ability to get to... Verholz off the deck, tries to spin move, over the top, gets it to fall. They did that with Verholz before, got that clear lane for her. Cairns takes the ball out and finds Sophia Person. Still looking for the three, 10 on the game clock. Bartram with the rock at the top of the key. They've got to let something go. A lot of contact underneath, that's off the fingertips and a jump ball is called. Point seven left on the game clock and the possession goes to the Eagles. Florida Gulf Coast was looking for a three point shot. They didn't even take it to the rim right there. Good job by Oklahoma of switching on everything. A good con contest right there. I don't know about that, diving on top of somebody. But it is a jump ball, and Florida Gulf Coast will have an opportunity here as they adjust the clock. On Oklahoma, so we'll have to adjust to get it up. Point four, so was able to knock that one out. We'll see what magic they can create. Out top. Azudu just short. Front of the rim. That was a terrific look for Florida Gulf Coast and Azudu, totally capable of knocking that shot down.